So in this video, we're going to be learning how to create a really simple password strength checker. So you can see here is my password box. Here is a progress bar. And as I type, you can see it starts to fill up. So when we have one character, it's 20% full. When we put a second character in, it becomes 40% full. But now if I put in a third character, since it's still only a letter, the progress bar isn't going to get any fuller. So if I put in a few more letters, you can see it doesn't change anything. But now if I put in a number, you can see our password got a wee bit more complicated and now the progress bar has increased to 60%. If I add even more numbers, you can see that makes no difference to the complexity of the password and as such, the progress bar doesn't get any bigger. So what I can do is I can put in a special character like a question mark. And now you can see that the progress bar has got even fuller to 80% now because now we have an even more complicated password. And then finally, I can put in another character like an exclamation mark and that's gonna fill up the entire progress bar because now we have a sufficiently complex password. So this whole system is really easy to create. It's built using just pure JavaScript and it doesn't take very long to do. So let's get started. So here's our HTML page. You can see we have our password text box and we have our progress bar and the progress bar has a maximum value of 100 and a minimum value of zero. But where the actual work comes in is down here when we create our JavaScript. So what we do is we create a variable to store the password box, which is our input box. Then what we do is we add an event listener to that so that every time we lift the key up, we're gonna run this function called check password. And to that function, we pass the value that's been typed into this text box. Then what we do is we actually check the password. So our check password function takes the password that we typed in the box. It gets our strength bar, which is what we call our progress bar, which is this bar down here. And it sets a default strength of zero. Then what it does is it checks to see if the password matches this regular expression, and if it does, it increases the strength by one. So what this regular expression does is it says, the first character of the string has to be alphanumeric, so it has to be A to Z, or zero to nine, and it can be upper or lower case. Then we say there has to be at least one other character, possibly more, that's what the plus means, at least one. Uh, and that also has to be alphanumeric. Then what we do is we match this regular expression, which matches the tilde, the greater than less than sign and the question mark. And if we see one or more occurrences of any of these characters in the password, we increase the strength by one. Then what we do is we match another regular expression and this regular expression matches all these characters. And if it sees them, and if it sees one or more of any of those characters, it increases the strength by one. Then finally, what we do is we check the password's length. If it's greater than five, we increase the strength by one. Then what we do is we run a switch statement on the strength. So if the strength is zero, which means we've typed a character but it doesn't match any of these regular expressions, we're gonna set the progress bar length, the progress bar's value to 20. If it matches one of these regular expressions, we're gonna increase it to 40. If it matches two of them, we're gonna increase it to 60. If it matches three of them, it's gonna be 80. And only if it matches all the regular expressions and the length is greater than five, we're gonna say the password strength is 100%, which, which in our eyes is the most secure password we can have. And obviously you might wanna change this to suit your own needs, but that's pretty much it for the entire function. It's a really simple function and it's really easy to implement. And you can see if I start to delete letters and make the password less secure, you can see the progress bar starts to shrink. But that's it for this really simple video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.